Hello everyone. We've got another indie box. Let's figure out what's inside. All right. Now this one, if it is the correct box I'm thinking of, I've really been anticipating this because it was leaked out to me through email. Uh, they wanted me to renew my subscription. So let's see if it is the same one that I'm thinking of. And it is. Oh, this is guacamole. Oh, that's weird. They include cardboard in it this time. Oh, well. Put that to the side. Oh, I have been waiting for this, guys. This actually does validate a whole bunch of indie box for me because, you see, I knew that I was going to be getting a lot of games I didn't really know about, games I don't get a lot of exposure to. And it was going to kind of be a toss-up and, you know, I just get random games and I don't really know a lot about them. But this game, on the other hand, this is one that I have been waiting for, that I've been wanting to try out. I do not have a copy yet. Um, of course, I think it's only been released digitally, as far as I could tell. But um, there was a sale on PSN a long time ago. It was one of those flash sales. And for, for whatever reason, maybe I was just out of town or something, but I missed that sale. So... Um, all the other times it was up for sale it was just regular price, and I was kind of like, you know, I don't really want to pay regular price for it if it was on sale before. And uh, but this totally justifies any box for me because look, now I got in a service that I was gonna get games with anyways. And uh, I could already tell that this box it it looks great. This looks like one of those uh, uh, Lucha Lode, um advertisements, uh, you know, that you would see plastered on on the wall side of a building or something. Oh, this looks so cool. Like I said, I've been waiting for this game. I've been wanting to try it out. Uh, oh, oh, before I forget, there you go. Oh, no way, it has two codes right there. All right, so I guess, uh, I, I know that they said in here that there would be two versions of the game in here. Um, I don't mean two versions, but I, I mean like two games, I guess. So they have like sort of a se sequel DLC type thing? I don't know. But, oh, I have been waiting for this so long, man. Wow. Let's open this up now. Ah. And for those of you who don't know, all, all four people out there in the world who don't know, um, Guacamelee, it's like a platformer, and um, it, it sort of takes like a metro metroidvania, excuse me, uh, approach towards level design. You get little upgrades and that helps you along your quest and to open doors and basically get through the game. And oh, this is great. Uh, and this goat, at least from what I've seen, like a few playthroughs that I've uh, checked out for Guacamelee, the goat is like your, your, I guess, I don't know if it's like a teacher or a guide or something and it helps you, you know, get through the game. Time to open up and see what's inside. Oh, I think this is a temporary tattoo, right? Yeah, it is. <laughs> cool, so we have this heart with wings temporary tattoo. That's pretty nice. The game itself, Guacamelee. Ah, Guacamelee Definitive Collection, you see? So yeah, I guess it does have the DLC or whatever it is that came after. <laughs> World's greatest enchiladas, wow. This is a recipe. Oh wow, that's awesome. I might make this. And let's see. God, they packed this one. This is, you see, this is great that, I mean, the last, uh, well, not the last any box, but Discourse, ah, oh, that box was so lacking. I mean, I don't know, I don't know who put that out there. I don't know if they rushed it or what. But that box was definitely lacking, and this one, it is, I've still got stuff in here, it's packed with stuff. Here we go, instruction manual, pretty cool, Guacamelee soundtrack, 34 tracks, wow. This, I think it's a sticker, yeah, just a sticker, ah, there we go. You know, I've never been into the... I've never been into wrestling, and I've never been into, you know, luchador or anything like that, but I do like the whole culture around it. And uh, I do live in the southwestern U.S., so, I mean, it is it is pretty big. Like, for instance, my uh, 
my uncles on my mother's side of the family. Uh, my mother's side of the family, I, I think they actually uh, were raised somewhere in Mexico. I don't know. But uh, they would always travel to Mexico. We have plenty of family over there. So uh, because of that, I know that my uncles, they were into, <laughs> into this sort of stuff when they were kids. And, um, but yeah, I remember my uncle, we wanted to go see uh, Nacho Libre together back when it was, back when it was new. Oh, <laughs> what's this? <laughs> I think this is a character from Discourse, right? No, I'm kidding. Um, wow, it's a little rooster. <laughs> it's all plushy. That's cool. What is this? It's in bubble wrap. Oh, I know what this is. I know what this is. Oh, this is cool. Wakamele shot glass. And it is glass. Wow. That is cool. <laughs> and that's it. Nothing else in the box. Like I said, guys, I have been waiting for this indie box to come in. Uh, because, I mean, they sent me this email that said, you know, like, hey, you might want to renew your subscription. We have Guacamelee coming out, all this other stuff. And so this is the last, um, the last indie box that's in my six-month package type thing. So I need to decide if I'm going to renew or what's going to happen. But, um, anyways, I really want to try out this game. Oh, where is that game? Here we go. Let's find out if this game lives up to the hype. Oh, can't wait to play it. Now, what can I say about Guacamelee that hasn't been said before? The game is great. I've never played until now, but it really does live up to the hype. Guacamelee is a Metroidvania-style platformer, so you use different abilities that you find to defeat bosses and also to get to different areas to complete the game. This type of gameplay is right up my alley. It's exactly what I'm looking for. The game also has some pretty effective humor thrown in, and there really were some times when I was laughing with the game. They also included a few references to side-scrollers in the past, and that was really cool as well. The art style here is perfect. It's like what Discourse wanted to be, but failed at. In Guacamelee, everything looks like it was made out of felt, and in Discourse, everything looks like it was made out of leftover scraps of construction paper. Now the way I see it, getting Guacamelee is a huge deal for IndieBox. Yes, I know they've had other big games like Brutal Legend, but Brutal Legend already had physical copies. And it wasn't really an indie game either. But I think Guacamelee gives them a lot of legitimacy because they've proven that they can handle these big indie games. So let me just make this little request. Indie Box, get Axiom Verge. I know you can do it. I believe in you. And now let me follow up on that whole customer service dispute thing that we were talking about last time. Just to remind you guys, the flash drive that came with Captain Forever Remix, it didn't work. The files were corrupted and I had no way to fix it. So anyways, it did take them a little bit of time, it took them a week, but they did get back to me and they did send me those files that I needed on the flash drive. So I gotta say, that's not bad. They do take care of their customers. It takes them a little bit longer than they estimated, but I'm not complaining. And in case any of you were wondering, yes, I did renew my subscription to IndieBox. It was a pleasure to renew it. I think now that Guacamelee dropped, we're gonna see a lot of big name indie games gain IndieBox releases. I can't wait. But before we get to those, we have some unfinished business here to take care of. Alright guys, time for a taste test. Let's see here. Enchiladas are always messy, at least for me. That's pretty good. That's not bad at all. However, I do have to say, 
They might get sued for false advertising or something because I can tell you this is not the world's best enchilada. It's my mother. She makes the best enchiladas in the universe. And I think the world is contained in that whole universe thing. Anyways, though, these are pretty good, and I kind of like that they include something fun in there. Um, but yeah, it still does not hold a candle to my mother's, though. She makes them with uh, cream of mushroom soup instead of cream of chicken soup. And she makes them with uh, layered corn tortillas. Ugh. They're so good. Mm. I'm gonna have them. I'm gonna have her make some next time she's down. But um, there's also a weird question that I have. The game is called Guacamole, but they included an enchilada recipe. Why didn't they include a guacamole recipe instead? I don't know. That question it's dangerously approaching Seinfeld territory. But either way, I hope you guys like this review. I'll see you next time.